<coughs> it's meme time! It's meme time! It's meme time! Gather all your friends, it's meme time! It's meme time! It's meme time! The only cure for sadness! Hear ye! Hear ye! It's meme time! Everybody's favorite time of the day, because it's time to PUNCH THAT BIG SAD OUT OF THE ROOM! Get out of here, you dang stink! And it's time to welcome bright, new, sweet, glorious memes all over our skin so we can shine bright like Edward Cullen in the sun. I have a nice, ice cold glass of coffee right now. You know what? It's warm outside. The sun is getting better. I can't go outside and do anything, so I'm just gonna bring the outside to me and have a nice, cold, refreshing beverage of some dirty, cold beans. But let's see what you maybe baby Mimi dreamers were up to this week. That's a sentence. If Jack still had the flat cap, Holy God! Okay, first of all, I'm wearing a different kind of hat. It says laugh on it. You can get it for yourself, jacksepticeye.com, and all proceeds are going towards the Hope From Home Voldemort fundraiser. Cool! That is an insanely well done Photoshop. That legitimately just looks like I'm wearing the hat in that video. And I wasn't. I don't know where my hat is, honestly. I- it's probably somewhere in my garage somewhere. People keep asking me to bring it back, whatever. Shut up! I- I don't know where it is. But this is really damn good. Like, a really damn good Photoshop. If I had a picture of my hat in the orientation that I'm standing right now and matched them perfectly, I don't think I'd be able to Photoshop it onto my head as good as you did here. Well done. Can you, like, Photoshop all of my thumbnails, please? Thanks. Congratulations to Sean and to everyone who donated with a total of 654,000. It was a wild ride. No congratulations to me. Congratulations to you guys for raising such an insane amount of money. That is unbelievable. Wildly the most successful charity stream we have ever done. I think the last time I checked, it was actually at 673,000. So it's gone up even more. It's gone up, gone up almost 20 grand since I finished the stream. And I'm not even there to tell you guys to go donate. That's how amazing you are. Right now, the global total that we have raised with all of these streams together, of everyone joining up and helping out, is 1.8 million dollars. A nuts amount of money. That just shows the power of positive communities getting together and wanting to do a good thing. Getting proactive, not reactive, not getting bummed out by all the news that's going on, not just sitting on our asses and not trying to help. We all got together, we all tried to do something together, and we're trying to make a big difference, and we're already putting a massive dent in what's going on out there. So thank you, everyone who was involved. And you want to know something wild? With that stream that we did, our community, just, just the Jacksepticeye community, have now raised so close to four million dollars. We're twelve- less than twelve thousand dollars off raising four million in these charity live streams. All of these charity streams that we have done have amounted up to four million dollars right now. So give yourselves a round of applause. I am so proud to be able to be part of this community and be able to interact with you guys so much because you're such a force for positivity and change in the world and I'm so proud of you. You did it, daddy. <laughs> yeah, I did an interview with CNN. They they wanted to do something positive around Voldemort. I uh, can't say that. Uh, Edit it, blur it out, censor it out, we can't say that word, we might get demonetized. The fundraiser we did around Voldemort uh, got so much positive attention that CNN reached out and wanted to do an article on it and I was absolutely more than flattered to do so and we got to talk about hope from home and talk about all the good that everybody out there was doing and everybody who came together and were part of this big movement and I'm so happy. It, it got so much positivity around it, that, and it, it did so much better than I ever thought it could have, so thank you so much for that. It's still ongoing though. You can still go donate. I leave a link in the description to the Tiltify page that you can go to and donate there. It's all going towards the, the Hope From Home campaign, so you can still get involved if you didn't get to donate before, or you wanted to, or you didn't even know about it, you can still go donate and make a huge positive difference. Jack's microphone in-game pines up with his one in real life. How is this so perfect? That's crazy! It actually really does! So the microphone looks like this. So this part coming up for the, the pop filter, <laughs> it lined up perfectly with that. That is not at all how this microphone looks, but I'm gonna say so anyway. Thank you. Jack starts a live stream. It's for the Voldemort. He starts playing Animal Crossing. Felix joins his server. Yes. I knew immediately once Felix was like, hey, let me come to your island. I knew 
it was about to go badly. As bad as hell is, it can always get worse when Felix shows up. For you who didn't watch, we played Animal Crossing for a little bit on the stream. I wanted to play more, but there was so much stuff going on. But Felix showed up. Immediately we started fishing together. The first thing he caught was an ore fish. I was very upset. And then he let it go by accident. No one won in that scenario. God! What a dumbass. Dumbass Bell! Dumbass Bell! Him and his dumb, stinky floor gang. What about standing gang? Standing right now. Stand gang, not lazy gang. If you're part of ceiling gang though, I agree with him. Tom Nook donated a hundred dollars. Thanks, Satan. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Those pockets are deep. How much money have I paid you to upgrade my house? How much money have I paid you to build bridges? To move people in? How many, how many, how many hell's bells have I funneled into your one-man economy, Tom? I want to see some sort of good come out of this! Don't come to me telling me that he's given it all to orphanages. I know he's not! There's no orphanages in Animal Crossing! He's a crook! And a thief! And I want my money! Sean appeared on Malaysian News. What? Why? <laughs> what did I do? Did I do something bad? Sean Ming Lamlin, seorang warga island yang juga pemilik seorang YouTube Jacksepticeye Dan dana itu akan disalurkan Oh, that's cool! Organisasi amal global Ia bagi membantu populasi yang... That's really sweet! Thank you, Malaysia! I, I heard it in the middle that it was part of the... The Voldemort fundraiser that we did Again, I'm not saying it because I can't Well, I probably can, but I'm just afraid to YouTube removed the charity stream <laughs> Like, uh, four days after it went up, YouTube removed it. I woke up with everybody telling me that they couldn't watch it because their bot flagged it, and I think it's because I said Voldemort too much during the stream, so they were like, nah ah ah So I, I'm, I'm just not saying it anymore. But thank you, Malaysia. Very cool. You're a wonderful country. <laughs> I made a thing. <laughs> That's good. That's the new PlayStation 5 controller, apparently. That's what it looks like. I, um, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. First of all, why do I look so much like controllers? Why? Why? I actually do look like controllers. I don't understand it. Is it because the beard and the white face? <laughs> oh, and the blue eyes! Oh my god, it's perfect! <laughs> I'm not sure how much I like the controller. I almost think I'd prefer if this was all white as well. I, I think that this looks too weird. It's too much like the old controller. I like the layout and I like the design of it, but the color scheme, I would have preferred if it was just a black line through here and then the rest of it was white. I don't know why they did that. I'm sure there's going to be an all-white alternative to it, but I'm very excited for it. Apparently it has haptic feedback adaptive triggers, which means that you get like really great vibrations out of them and very subtle vibrations to like really Explosive vibrations item as well, so that means that it just it feels like you're in the game. <laughs> I'm a gamer But also the adaptive triggers. Is that what they call them? Something. They have uh, Force feedback in them so that if you're pulling like a bowstring It'll start like the trigger will actually tighten as you're pulling back the bowstring more And if you're accelerating with a car, it'll have different like it'll have different feelings based on how much you're pressing the accelerator Which I think is really cool. I like that a lot. It'll really make it feel like you're kind of in tune with what you're doing in the game Also, the controller now comes with a microphone in it and the controller already had a speaker in it So technically you don't really need a headset anymore But you can plug a headset into it and Sony are working on really really immersive 3D audio Where you can send a scan of your ears to them and it will adapt the sound based on the shape of your ears Or so I've seen which I think is really cool. As somebody who's really into sound design, I think that that's really awesome. Anyway, my face is a controller. Whatever. Texting or calling her during quarantine, knowing that she watches Jack, so making a meme about it, getting featured on Meme Time, and then getting Jack to say, Hi, Haiti. Wow. Damn! Coming out with all the big brain moves. That's, that's some high IQ right there. You're definitely standing, gang. Yes, hi, Haiti. <laughs> Chubby Nerd 69 says hi. <laughs> oh, it says down here if Jack says it, if Jack does this, it's pronounced Heidi. Okay, hi Heidi. Or should I say hey Heidi? Hey hey, hi hi, Heidi, hey hey, Heidi, what up? Whatever. Yay! The only cure for sadness. Welcome, meme time! This bell means everything right now. Jack going to Evelyn's Island to show her the ore fishy car. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> 
it's so diverse. It's such a usable meme. <laughs> what happened to water, Jesus? We will find out. I will do another one of these videos. You know how I always say that I'm going to do videos on things and then it takes me weeks and months to do it? I'll do it. It'll take me a while. But I, I'm a man of my word and I'll do it. I've probably broken a lot of promises like this over the course of YouTube. I'm sorry, I say a lot of things and half the time I can't remember. But I do have a bunch more items that we can review. I've had them for months and I just haven't gotten around to actually recording it. I don't know why. Stinky! In here, I'm hiding stink! <laughs> Found this and thought it fit. <laughs> yeah, that, that really is how it feels. It's like, ooh, I wonder what I'll get out of this tree. Is it gonna be good stuff? No. Bees! Jack, five years ago, and present Jack making the same joke. Danger contaminated area. I have a contaminated area all of my own. <laughs> I said the same thing playing Portal. <laughs> I mean, it's the exact same sign, because it's, it's Gmod versus Portal, but... That's funny. Five years apart? See? No change. Still the same comedy. Everybody like, oh, Jack changed. It's not the same anymore. Still making the same dumb jokes. <laughs> yes, I know! The hat! It's in the picture! Ah! You know what, if I clean out my garage, and I go looking for stuff, maybe I'll find the hat, and then I'll do a video on it. I'm not promising anything, but that might be fun. I wish I had it for Nostalgia Week, that would have been really perfect, fitting. Why didn't I think of that? Stinky! I could have farted that into the hole. I could fart that into the hole. <laughs> We're not so different, you and I. See? Same jokes. It's just the same recurring thing. At least I'm consistent. At least my brain is consistent in that regard. My comedy. It's just so funny. What girls think guys want to slap? What guys really want to slap? What everybody wants to slap? In both regards. Everyone wants to tap a booty every now and then. Booties are great. They got a little jiggle to them. Boop. Done. But also, everyone wants to smack a whiteboard and go... <laughs> fuck Shari! It doesn't say laugh on the board right now, it says fuck Shari. So, you can't see it, it's out of frame, out of focus. Out of mind, out of body, out of soul! Out of jokes for the end of this bit. Moving on! Oh, good lord. Quarantine is getting to me and I hate myself for this. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why does Evelyn look the exact same? She's just slightly more wrinkled and her skin is sagging a tiny bit, but she still looks drop-dead gorgeous. I'm just gonna say, Evelyn is a hot grandma? It's a possibility. Me is a hot granddad, though. Look at that man. Wow. Why does Ethan still look like a child? Even with gray hair, a beard, a gray beard, and wrinkled skin, he still looks like a child. Felix looks like Santa. Swedish Santa. I don't know, what's he gonna bring you? Meatballs? And Mark. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> Mark looks like the old man in a zombie apocalypse who hunkers down in his house. And you meet him on the way, but as you leave, he has to shut the door and get eaten by a zombie as you leave, but he goes down swinging. Either way, we're all gonna still be making YouTube videos. We're all still gonna be playing Animal Crossing, and we're still gonna owe Tom a lot of money. <laughs> this is not the end of Minecraft, I'm gonna do more Minecraft, so that was a fucking lie. I know. <laughs> Why? Why stinky? I, I am trying to get some stuff set up to do not just the story elements, but I want to open up like a server so we can all kind of get in and play around in it and do some stuff and make videos that way. I've been inspired by Daniel's RT Games kind of stuff, and when I got onto his server, it was so fun to do that and build Ireland, so I kind of want to do some stuff like that with the game. I think it would be really fun. And we're all stuck in isolation and quarantine right now anyway, so it would be cool for all of us to hang out and do something together. Well, not all of us, there's too many of us to do that, but you know what I mean. I'd, I'll try that, I promise. No, I'm not gonna promise. Everyone will say that I promise and then I'll fuck it up. Ah! What do I know? Stinky in here, I got a face like a PlayStation controller. Face station controller. When you spend hours making a meme and it doesn't get upvoted. Fuck this. I'm selling meth. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. You want the skinny on this one? You want some big brain knowledge on this one? Don't make things because you want upvotes on them. Stop making shit for the internet just to get fake internet points out of it. Make the stuff that you think is funny, that you think is creative, that you have fun making, and just for the sake of it. We're all stuck at home, bored, just make stuff, create, have fun. Stop going around wondering if you're gonna get more upvotes than somebody else. It means nothing. This person got 2,000 upvotes here. Somebody else probably got 10 with a funnier meme. Doesn't fucking matter. It's the same with art stuff, and video stuff, and edit stuff. It, it bums me out to see other people getting bummed out that their stuff doesn't get any traction from anybody. But it's not always going to get traction, and even when it does, you could post something next week and it gets nothing. It's that it, putting too much value into this is what bums you out even harder, because you work so hard on it expecting a certain thing, and then if it doesn't pay off, you're just going to be sad about it. Please just make 
for the sake of making, for the love of creating. It's so much more fun that way. If it happens to get upvotes and it happens to get a lot of attraction and attention and even makes it to a meme time, hooray, fun, that's cool. But it shouldn't be the end goal. If I started off making my YouTube videos with that sort of mindset, I would never be here doing this and reacting to memes that you guys are posting. Because I, it took me like a year and a half to two years to even get like a hundred people to watch a video. And then now seeing where it is now is, is crazy, but looking back on it, the first two years were like nothing, really. There was nobody really on the channel and that many people weren't really watching it. So you just gotta make stuff because it's fun making. They got old. Oh my god, is that actually them? Wow. That's commitment. I like that they came back and reenacted the meme. I would love a series like that. Can we get a subreddit dedicated to grown-up memes? That this is what they look like before and this is what they look like now. Like Hide the Pain Harold. What's he up to? Or Scumbag Steve. Or who is that nerd yearbook picture where everything kept going wrong. I can't remember the name of him. I hope they're doing okay. It's hard to get thrust into the public eye, especially when it's a meme. Um, so I just hope everybody's just not stinky. Sponsor Jacksepticeye or Draw25 Coca-Cola. It's over, guys. The war is over. I fought. I tried really hard. We legitimately actually went to Coke and asked for a sponsorship. I was so in on it. Um, I don't do many sponsorships, but something like that would have been so much fun to do and to play around with. And we gave Coke all of the sort of cards to be like, hey, we can make a really fun, self-aware sort of sponsorship idea with this. And they didn't reply. I cried for a week after that. Now the joke is gone, the meme is gone, and the opportunity to do something really fun is gone, so let's move on. To coffee! The love that will never leave us. <laughs> Jack? Hmm. Sean? Eh, no, just Sean. No, that's good shit. You know, it's not a bad title. I kind of like it. It sounds exotic. What's your name? My name is Sean. Just Sean. Actually, it sounds like I'm saying just Sean. No, it's just Sean. I'm very cool. Look at them. They're scrolling through memes and not playing our games. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Tom is a, a work horse. He just never stops. I just own bells all the time. It's a game that never ends. And it takes place in real time. I have other stuff to be doing. Now, Doom Eternal, I finished you. It was great. It was epic. It was amazing. I love you. But Isabel, come on. Cut me some slack. It's hard for a toss man to go around hell and just try and avoid Shari. It takes up a lot of my time. It's exhausting. Just Sean playing Doom Eternal. <laughs> Just Sean went playing Animal Crossing. Now come on! Playing Doom Eternal, I was very aggressive. I was yelling, I was telling people to get fucked, I was sawing them in half. It was amazing, it was so much fun. It's just that Animal Crossing is way more intense and serious than any other game I've ever played. I live in hell. There's a mafia boss named Satan trying to steal all of my money and make me build constantly. All these people keep moving to the island and getting trapped by his... His scam! He told me that it was a retreat, that I could go on a deserted island and have fun. Now I live there. I had family and friends back home. What am I supposed to do? You are a hard level memer if you see this. Oh my god, that is blinding me. That is messing with me. I mean, I see it. I know what it is. Can, does it work if you stand further away? Yeah, it works so much better if you stand further away. I'm out here doing it to him and looking at memes at the same time. I'm a higher form of being. I'm, I'm, I'm ascending. Also, you just took this meme from somebody else. It literally says it at the bottom. Taking memes, reposting them, stealing people's art and posting it as your own is how a series like this dies because it becomes so hard to distinguish who is the original poster of stuff that I just can't figure it out. Toss boy and the TV wall. You can't hide from me now, bitches. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's my favorite thing about my Animal Crossing right now is the... The security monitor wallpaper that I got, because none of my friends have it, or at least that I've seen. And I just love it. It fits Tossboy so well. His crackhead eyes just staring into the abyss. Yes, I see you all now. I know what you're up to, Shari. I can avoid you. We should set a plan for Shari and kill her. She must be dealt with. Hi, Adolf! <laughs> oh, God. Now, Shari's worse. Much, much worse. Also, <laughs> what a... <laughs> What a usable meme template. The Jojo Rabbit is such a good movie. Who knew that you could get Taika Waititi to dress up as Hitler and still make it fun and poignant and have a decent message behind it? It What a genius. Such a good movie. I highly recommend anybody go watch it. It's probably not at all 
anything like you think. It's, it has a lot of heart and soul in it, and I loved it. Also kind of goes without saying, but also fuck Hitler, you know? Just gotta get it in there. How can this be, Sean? Oh my. Oh me oh my. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, I can assure you, it is. Morning to you laddies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and we just hit 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand subscribers, holy god. That was such a big deal at the time. I mean... A thousand people subscribing to your channel is a big deal, especially if they're legitimate people. I don't know, man. What a simpler time. <laughs> I Don't get me wrong, I'm much happier where I am now, and doing this is so much greater than I ever thought it was going to be, and I have so much fun doing it. But back then, this, like, this simple little edit, the shy boy afraid to speak his actual voice. Morning to you laddies. My name is Jacksepticeye, and we just hit 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> Baby face. Baby face, boy face. <laughs> Toss boy in Mario Kart. <laughs> he knew. He was there all along, incepting his way in. He was just driving his bike, flying around, doing what he does best. And now he's in hell with Shari. Every time I play Mario Kart after this, I should just play as the villager again. We should be Toss boy. I love that the basic villager actually has this hair as well. Perfect. Scruffy man. Jack Shrek the guy. I mean, there's not much else to say other than that. That's it. That's the whole meme. I think I did something wrong. <laughs> I caught the Titanic. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I love it. We all know, though, that it was a black bass. Come on. The most metal of all fish. We know that that's what you caught. Hey, at least it's not a C plus. I, oh, it's, it's looking at me with reproach. You know? Holy mackerel! <laughs> they couldn't just- They couldn't put in like three to five lines for each fish. They couldn't just come up with something else. It has to be the one line for everything you catch. Every time. You couldn't just come up with a couple of more. And just randomize them every now and then. Why even let us see it if it's the same one every time? Come on, Nintendo. That's a little stinky. Look at how much the boy has grown. February 11th, 2014. April 7th, 2020. Wow! I, I didn't know they- there was another article in a paper back home. That's really nice. <laughs> this was the first, um, sort of interview article <clears throat> thing that I did for YouTube stuff, and it was the first piece of, like, big attention that the channel got outside of just the YouTube bubble, I guess, and it was a really big deal to me. I was still using my old ass like, handycam camera. A guy came over and took photos in my apartment and was like, lean a little bit forward and put your hand up on the desk. And I was like, okay, that's a little weird. And then the picture ended up looking weird. It looks like I'm supposed to have a cup in my hand and I don't, or I'm ready to fight someone. But this is really weird to see. Past meets present. Because 20, February 11th, 2014, the channel wasn't even at a million subs. It hit a million in August of that year. So, this, this was still really early days. Growing up with nothing made me want to give to charity. <laughs> That's a really sweet thing of them to do. I didn't talk to them about it, they must have just gleamed it from another article. Um, and I think YouTube sent around a press release about the Hope From Home thing as well, so... That's very, very sweet. Thank you, whoever wrote this article. Well, that's gonna be it for me, you sweet baby Mimi dreamers. No more memes for this week. I know. I know what you're thinking. The big sad is coming back. But don't worry. You now have memes to fight back against it. You now have... A little time away, a little break, a little chuckle chuckle, haha. <laughs> and I guess we just have to wait until the next episode of Meme Time. So go, hang out in the subreddit, post some memes, have fun. Click the links in the description to go help fight back against Voldemort. Alright, this is Jacksepticeye's army, just like Dumbledore. You can go to jacksepticeye.com, get some laugh merch. It's all going towards Voldemort. That <laughs> Voldemort! Blur the other one out! And also, click the link for the Tiltify Hope From Home campaign and donate. Uh, still, if you want to, uh, it's there. You don't have to, but it would really mean a lot and makes a big difference. So, there you go. And I see all you sweet baby Mimi dreamers! Now there's a throwback.